by the time I made fourth grade, I already had my career picked out. I already knew what I had to do for a living. I wanted to be a freelance photojournalist. I wanted to wear khaki. I wanted to carry a, a canvas camera bag and there would be a Hasselblad in it and a bunch of bolts of two and a quarter inch film and flash bulbs and one of those little reporter's notebooks you hold in the palm of your hand and, 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 and a bottle of scotch. <laughs> and a passport with, with stamps from, from exotic places all over the world. And I would travel around and, and write stories and shoot photographs of uh, really interesting people and places and things and bring them back and share them with the world uh, through the pages of magazines and newspapers. Lofty goals for a nine-year-old. Um, but darn if it didn't happen that way. With an, an interesting plot twist. Um, now my, my pictures move. The words, um, as well as being written, they're spoken. And they're accompanied by music and sound effects. And uh, a lot of times it's underwater, and we're going to talk about that today. Um, actually, we're not going to talk about that today. That was going to be the focus of my opening comments. But I had to change horses in midstream about 10 minutes ago. Because it's not all about passport stamps. And I, I, I told you, I told you this deal with it. It's about people you meet along the way. It's about people who inspire, instruct, encourage. People like Jim Burkholder, musical influences. Roy Mayave, one of the strongest voices in rock and roll. Uh, people from the Valley Morning Star, where I had my very first real job as a, as a photojournalist. People from KGBT in KVU in Austin. Um, I don't know if Patsy Ruth Webster's here from the CAF dispatch. People like that really shape the, 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 the mass that you see in front of you blubbering. Um, but among all those, the one to whom I owe the greatest the debt of gratitude is somebody who is very kind and very patient in my High school yearbook, she wrote Paul, my diamond in the rough. And boy was I. Brash, obstinate, rebellious, full of myself. Okay, all that's still true, but <laughs> uh, she saw something that was worth nurturing and encouraging. And so today is all about business games. So